React Native isn't that popular, at least if you trust a recently popular video on a small YouTube channel. This video attracted by now almost 200,000 views and over 700 comments as it looks very legit and appeals to pretty much every developer who hates React or React Native, which are quite a lot. The core message? React Native isn't that popular. Facebook and Meta are not really using React Native in their apps and overall most popular apps are actually using Swift UI and Jetpack Compose and not React Native. Also, the trajectory and growing popularity of React Native in their NPM installations is mostly caused by Expo and EAS, their cloud build services which brings up the installation numbers of builds running in the cloud. So basically, React Native isn't that popular and you're better off learning something like Swift UI or Jetpack Compose. And this is the dangerous message of a video like this. Developers without much knowledge will watch a video because YouTube recommends it and they will trust it because it sounds legit. You can also see much approval in the comments from people who most likely don't really like React Native. This just reaffirms the message of the video to the watcher. And while there's some truth in this video, the overall message is wrong. Yes, the official React Native showcase needs an update. Absolutely 100% agree. But React Native is used heavily at Meta. It is used inside the Facebook application and it is used in tons of popular applications. Just check out Evan Bacon's blog post that he updates every year where he downloads all the apps from the categories and usually they're like 30% of the top 100 apps of a category are using React Native and many times React Native is actually beating their native counterparts. In comparison to Swift UI and Jetpack Compose, React Native has been way more popular as a cross-platform tool in the recent years of the Stack Overflow developer survey. Plus, there are far more open job positions for React Native as pointed out by Cedric. Quick disclaimer, this comparison was about React Native versus Swift UI and Jetpack Compose. Now don't get me wrong, React Native isn't the perfect framework for every app. You can build really shitty apps with React Native, but so you can with Swift or Kotlin. And saying React Native isn't used in popular apps or is not growing anymore, especially since the new architecture was introduced last year, is simply a lie. So please don't fall for these opinionated videos and articles and do some own research. Or even better, get your hands dirty and get some first-hand experience with the frameworks we're talking about instead of watching videos from a random YouTuber. Now, turn off this video, get back to building amazing apps no matter which text they you are using. Because ultimately it's about the experience that your app can deliver to your users who doesn't care about the technology you used in your app in the first place. Let me know in the comments what you think about that video and what tech stack you're currently using to build and ship your epic apps.